Welcome back to an epic eight-man tag match. RK Bro, Cody Rhodes, and Ezekiel versus the Usos, Seth Frickin' Rollins, and Kevin Owens. And right now, Riddle exactly where he doesn't want to be, cannot find the tag. Rollins looking to cut the ring in half, keep Riddle isolated from all three of his partners, but the original bro from the top. Oh! Down goes Rollins. Can Riddle make something happen? Absolutely exhausted, but needs to get to his corner. Riddle's got three willing options right now, and Ezekiel, Cody Rhodes, and Randy Orton just tag one of them. Same goes for Rollins. Closest to Jimmy Uso is going to be legal for his team now, and oh. stops Riddle from making the tag. Fresh Jimmy Uso looking for the cover. Little kick out before three, but he's starting to wear down in the center of the ring. This is sound expert tag team strategy by the SmackDown tag team champions right now. This was the action earlier on. Rollins has Riddle on the top rope, inverted superplex. The fact that Riddle survived that was impressive in and of itself. The fact that this match is still going on is downright shocking. Oh, Riddle just knocked Seth Rollins off the apron, but gets clubbed by Jimmy Uso. And let's not forget the last two weeks on Friday Night SmackDown, Riddle has scored victories over Jimmy Uso as well as Shane oh. Uso, who is now the legal competitor. Now they are looking for payback. Right and listen, now. Jimmy and Jay are incredibly smart competitors. They both realize if they can isolate Riddle, inflict a little extra punishment, maybe injure Riddle before WrestleMania Backlash, that's one step closer to becoming the undisputed tag team champions at WWE. And I think that all comes with tag made with the pressure, the pressure on the shoulders of the Usos delivered by the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, who you know is watching. I agree with you, Saxon, but it's under that same exact pressure that both Usos have evolved into true diamonds in WWE. And no problem going after the entire corner. Randy Orton seething right now. Riddle gets a foot up just in time, but it's a long, long way to the corner. Riddle. Desperation. Sidestepping Seth Rollins. Clear path to Randy Orton. But Jimmy Uso there right in time. Corey, you talking about oh, the oh. Usos. Well, that shin just took a shellacking from that right knee. Jimmy Uso just went down like Dillian White. Riddle now desperately needs to make a tag to the Viper. 20 years deep and anxious as ever to get him some of the Usos. Riddle inching closer. It's all now Rollins. Brilliant move from Seth Rollins, pulling Randy Orton off the apron. And no one oh. Jay Uso backing it up inside the ring. Lots of extracurriculars on the outside, but inside is where it matters right now. Kevin Owens from the top, Riddle in position. Oh, sent on off the top rope. This has got to be it. Riddle somehow, somehow. Barely getting that right shoulder up. Take Kevin Owens can't believe it. This is tremendous impact. 260 plus pounds crashing down across the core of Riddle. And now Jey Uso resuming the beatdown. Oh! Riddle in those deep waters, but continues to strike back. Continues to unload on Jey Uso. He is a proud champion with Randy Orton. He's shown his fire and he's going to need it tonight. Oh, Jay. Oh, right into Jay. Jay. Turned around, but he didn't like what he saw. Snap body slam. Just Jimmy to enter the fight. Boom. Same fate as his brother. Oh, oh, what's next? Oh, one for Kevin oh, Owens. Oh, one for Rollins. Oh, the Viper looking unstoppable right now. Jey Uso all out of sorts on the outside of the ring. Randy Orton showing how much fire he has left. Wise exit. Oh, look out. Oh. Oh. Orton and Jey Uso right here in front of us. This won't end well. Right through the table. And Rollins from the apron. Uh oh. Let's make it two. Oh, Owens. Oh my God. Let's make the trifecta complete here. Oh, an airborne. There's Kevin Owens right into the barricade. An else death to the spine of Kevin Owens. Randy Orton standing tall. Orton now standing solo in the ring. Jey Uso, the last one left from his team. The boss is on vacation, Saxon. I'm going to take this one. Oh. <laughs> Face down and out goes Jey Uso. 
travel plans are on for Randy Orton, and the end may be near for Jey Uso. Uh, Rollins from behind takes out Orton. A visionary just in time. Oh, oh. Disaster kick. Super kick drops Rhodes. I'm oh, thinking stunner. Oh. Ezekiel thinking right now. Oh, again this time for Kevin Owens. Jimmy Uso flattens Ezekiel. Orton able to catch Jimmy. Me right to the top. Jimmy Uso and him off. And assist to the RKO. Oh, three. Oh, I had a bad feeling about this, Jay. Right, Randy. Right into the RKO. Champions, R.K. Bro! Tonight we've celebrated the past of Randy Orton. He showed that he still has a bright future. So much left in the tank. And I think the future in what was a highly chaotic matchup, Cody Rhodes, disaster kick, the first RKO delivered by Randy Orton onto Seth Rollins. But Kevin, Kevin Owens will find the next fate. Victimized by an RKO from the Viper. And then, number three. Oh, hey, it's the 20 year anniversary of Randy Orton. Go big or go home. Jey Uso, number four, RKO. And how about a little victory on the side? Yeah, I'm telling you guys, the way Riddle and Randy Orton are operating right now, I think you're looking at the next unified WWE Tag Team Champions in RK Pro. Not if Jimmy and Jey Uso have anything to say about it. Come WrestleMania backlash and an almost despondent look on the face of Seth freaking Rollins. Let's take another look. We gotta see this one more time. Oh, the pinpoint accuracy. But tonight belongs to RK Bro and Randy Orton. What does WrestleMania Backlash hold for the Tag Team Champions on Raw and SmackDown?